Good morning and welcome back. A rain continuing through the morning hours. Light rain currently falling in Helena Airport. Great Falls and that system is tracking north. If you're traveling across McDonald Pass, you probably want to just give yourself enough time to leave along with light rain falling. Still dealing with uh, fog issues. Let's take a look at the visibility around the board. So down in Deer Lodge, the visibility is down to four miles and also in Butte. Uh, air quality improved tremendously just yesterday. Air quality was unhealthy for sensitive groups and at a unhealthy rate in portions of central Montana. As you can see, things have definitely improved temperatures right now in the upper 40s. When you factor in the wind still feel well, actually it feels as if it's 44 degrees. So if you're going out, you probably want to have a jacket on hand. Temperatures in Great Falls 45 degrees. When you factor in the wind, it feels as if it's five degrees cooler and waking up today. Temperatures are cooler around the state billings 16 degrees cooler, but down in West Yellowstone temperatures there nine degrees warmer. Today is going to be cooler, cloudy and also rainy around this time of the year. Daytime high is supposed to be 84 degrees. The low 53 degrees. We're going to be one degree above that um, where we're supposed to be on the low end. Temperatures 54 degrees in Helena. Great Falls 52. Eastern Montana temperatures cool. Yesterday they had a heat advisory. Daytime highs there were trending in the triple digits. Tonight's going to be a chilly night. You have to go later on to walk the dog. If it's your job to, to walk that dog, you probably want to make sure you have a fleece on hand and also an umbrella if you're located in central Montana, light rain showers will linger there around this time of the year. Again, temperatures supposed to be in the 80s. Last year, temperatures were well above average. We were in the 90s. Today, daytime highs are in the 50s. We'll have light rain. Things today is going to be more in the scattered side. Our friend in central Montana may have brief periods of heavy downpours. Localized flooding not out of the question. Northeast Montana will have again brief periods of down heavy downpours as well around the capital. Things will stay on the light side. Let's take a look at the wind. The wind will favor the eastern half of the state as we get into the evening night hours. The wind will start to die down. Let's fast forward into Thursday. Thursday, another round of showers will move in. So Thursday, we're going to have some rain showers. That system will favor the southern portion of the the state and also eastern Montana. We do have another system that's going to move in from northwest. Our friends in Kalispell, Missoula and west central Montana, they'll have some rain showers. Helena as well. Late night um, Thursday going into Friday, rain will fall. So if you're traveling through the morning hours, just again, give yourself enough time to leave. Temperatures slowly warming up, but still trending below average for this time of the year. Temperatures in the 60s and also the 70s. Friday, I do want you to hold on. Wait a minute because the rain is not finish. Let's take a look at Friday. Friday will have rain showers, widespread showers, and that's going to continue into Saturday. We'll have another system that will bring us some more showers on Saturday, but our friends in North Dakota getting much needed rain. They need that rain in that area. So the temperatures for Friday again, slowly warming up. We're going to be at 72 degrees. Great Falls in the upper 60s. Kalispell 72 and Missoula 76. Today's the middle of the week, so I hope you have on your thinking caps. How many colors are in a rainbow? Here are the selection at the end of the show. I will have that answer, but let's take a look at the next three days. Today, we're going to have overcast skies, much needed rain. It's going to be on the light side. It's going to be more scattered in nature. We'll have a northerly flow that has improved the air quality. Temperatures 54 degrees. Tomorrow, temperatures slowly warm up. but still trending below average. Rain is in the forecast the next six days. As we get into Tuesday, things will dry up and the temperatures, as you can see, will warm to the upper 70s.